What's going on everybody? Robin here. Welcome to my channel, Aries Fire Tarot. Uh, I'm about to do your daily tarot card reading. This is going to be for Sunday, July 18th. And the deck I'm using is the Good Tarot. So <clears throat> I'm going to focus on wealth and abundance, maybe any sort of manifestation tricks or tips or somebody coming in to help you manifest something. So yesterday's reading, it really stuck with me. It was like sometimes... There is no solution in the cards, okay? And yesterday was like, it felt like a bit of a lost day. You know what I mean? It was like some sort of internal struggle. So I hope you guys are doing better today. Um, and we'll just move on, okay? So that's the only thing that you can do with your life is move on, okay? So let's just see what's going on. I know everybody's trying to manifest a certain version of their life. Some days it feels better than others. Um, so let's tr just blow away whatever happened yesterday because yesterday's gone. Okay. And that there's a song about that. Who sings it? Is anybody familiar with that song? Yesterday's gone. I'm just going to keep on going here. So I've got the four of earth. Um, so the four of earth, it really represents being in a lack mindset, very nervous, very worried. But the thing that I love about this card is that, you know, whatever your current reality is, whatever your current financial reality is, you can still get up, get showered, get shaved, do whatever it is that you got to do, get your hair did, you know, and feel good about yourself. She's, she's looking pretty good here, our little fairy in the four of earth, you know, and she's still putting out her receptors to the universe even though she's a little bit worried, well, maybe there's something that I can't pay for right now, but this is sort of a, a flip side of what we were seeing in Monday and Thursday. So it kind of seems to me like no matter what evidence the universe is showing you regarding your ability to manifest, you're still stuck in this energy. And that's what we saw yesterday really being stuck in an energy of loss okay so these are very challenging um habits of mind to train yourself out of so if you got the sudden windfall that we saw on thursday if you had to pay something really massive like we saw on monday but then the universe gifted you with a return with the refund with the windfall <clears throat> why would you still sit here today and think well there's just not enough when there's clear evidence that there is always enough hold on for a second I just wanted to write that down there's always enough there isn't just enough for the rich people for the one percenters for people that are lucky um, for celebrities for outrageously overpaid government. Ugh, don't get me started. Um, there's enough for you. There's enough for me. There's a, a mindset that you guys have been struggling with this week. So it could be that what you're thinking is in direct conf conflict to the evidence that is being presented for you. So, okay, let's have another card. I'm just going to do a deck cut and have a look at this. All right. So what we were saying, everything is available to you. We have the king of earth. This is the guy that makes things happen. Okay. This is, he created his wealth. He created his kingdom and he started here. He started off like with the ace and then he moved to the two and then he moved to the alchemy and then the four happens and then the five happens and then you move on and on and on. So there is something that you guys are being called to overcome in your life, probably on all fronts. So you can resolve this and move on ahead and live your best life as you wear the crown. Okay. I always think of a Metallica song. Where's your crown king? Nothing. I absolutely love Metallica. You guys, I have such an eclectic sort of taste in music, but anyway, um, so what are you going to do with this? And of course I'm getting a song, <laughs> all that junk, all that junk inside your trunk. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, 
<clears throat> what are you going to do about this? We saw it yesterday. It was like so heavy yesterday. I couldn't even pull the reading out of it. It was like, oh, it was like going into like quicksand. Here it is. But here's future you going, uh, everything is going to be okay. You're just really like being beckoned to move forward. Okay, so let me just pull a card here. I'm going to pull a card over the four of earth. So you've got the three of earth. So this is really important, you guys. I don't know if I mentioned this enough, but you guys are always manifesting. Always. Every thought that you think. Every thought um, creates your current reality. So the card of alchemy with the three of pentacles, the three of earth is reminding you that whatever your mindset is right now. And I just saw angel number 555. We saw this on Friday a little bit too. It's like you guys could be recycling old experiences that made you really uncomfortable and still thinking about them and then wondering why it keeps on happening over and over and over again. And then we saw that dark pit of despair on Saturday. It was like, oh, you just get sucked right into it, you know. And then today, the universe is standing up and going, <clears throat> cough, cough. Hello, over here, you know, have you gotten a grip of your mind yet? If you are not in control of your thoughts, then who is, okay? Um, if you are not in control of your life, then who is in control of your life? Because it's probably not you, um, you know? So the Four of Pentacles, oh, maybe I'm a little bit nervous, but I can absolutely bring in this kind of kingdom of wealth and abundance for myself. And then the card of alchemy, which is what I like to call the three of earth, is reminding you that whatever experience is around you right now, like your bank balance, your your love life, your work life, it's all a representation. It's all a mirror of your thoughts. Okay, so you could think this way or you could think this way. All right, so you're being strongly cautioned with the four of earth to remember that you are the you are working in concert with prime creator okay and all the cards that i pulled for you so far on your sunday wealth and abundance reading are pentacles they're called earth in this deck but it's the same thing like in some decks it's called coins um i think people really respond to pentacles for some reason uh and that's what i end up saying it doesn't really matter what it's on the card or not Okay, uh, so now we have the five, okay? So it is really like you guys are, this week, everything was really looking good, okay? Until Friday, and then something happened. So can you please just take a second and figure out what happened to you guys on Friday? Did you see something that reminded you of somebody did somebody say something really insulting and you were feeling vulnerable so you let it push you down the spiral of despair? Like what happened on Friday, okay? What happened on Friday? It's kind of like you lost your faith in yourself <clears throat> and your spirit guide is sitting back going, here they go again. You know, your guardian angel is like, how many times do I have to tell them, you know, and they're filing their nails having a smoke, you know, and a cocktail or whatever. And they're just, this is unbelievable, you know, so they're going to have to do all that work to pull you back up again. But if you can identify what happened on Friday that set you in a whirlwind and you didn't even really have to recognize it on a conscious level because your subconscious is so used to that pattern that it's going to look for reasons to fall into it. So anyway, I pulled the five of pentacles, okay? So we started off with the four, and then we came to the three, and now we've got the five, which, which is the perceived lack, okay? So start off with something a little bit dismal. You remind yourself, oh, there's a glim glimmer of hope. I'm the co-creator of my life. I can manifest anything that I want, but ugh, everything sucks right now, you know? So... And then you have the king of earth going, come on, get it together. Okay, so there's always enough, you guys. So I think that what is really going to help, again, is to look at what happened on Friday or Thursday evening. Um, 
what happened? What did you see? What did you hear? What did you experience? And look at that and say, why did that trigger me? Because Saturday was a write-off. Now Sunday is like waffling all over the place. What happened? Take ownership for that and go look at it and resolve it for good, you know, so that this doesn't happen again. I'm going to wrap it up, you guys. Many blessings. Take care. Bye.